How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Ashina the Red Witch. A prologue, a demo, an early look at this game from Stranga, the same guy who created Just Ignore Them, My Big Sister, and recently Redbow. This is going alongside a Kickstarter campaign, so if you're a fan of, of this series of games, then it would be a great chance to support that, get in on it. Some elements in the prologue may or may not be changed in the full release. It's only a short experience of the full game. You can help support it via Kickstarter. This continues to tie in to this larger story that's been crafted across those other games. There's been little bits and pieces of things tying in throughout that larger series. Little recurring characters or elements or mentions of other things, which has been interesting to see. I, I played through all of that a few months ago, and I'm pretty sure Ashina was in My Big Sister. That was like the, the, the main character who lived at the, the bathhouse there, which I guess we're seeing again here now. But it'll be interesting to see it updated and, and how it starts to tie into things. I'm a little hesitant that I'm going to remember every specific detail of how they start to fit together. Somewhere down the line, I need to make a video that really sums up how it all fits. Ash, that bus ride took like forever. There's so much traffic tonight. Now let's get cooking. Hmm. Where the heck is she? Did she get lost again? Tina, the two sisters, gee sis, chill, both with the that same typical black hair with the red bows in it that we would have seen in, in the other games. What's on the menu? You were with me when I bought the ingredients. You mean that's dinner? Ramen? Again? I want to try new things, sis. Maybe you should be in charge of cooking the next meal. Taste the world. Just set the table, please. Hmm? The table? No, the clock. You see, Ash, you stress way too much. Well, I'm just trying to look after both of us. Maybe you could help. What do you mean? I don't stress. Still hung up about work? Why do you hate it so much? You're a receptionist for a bathhouse for crying out loud. <sighs> and an attendant and a janitor. See? It can't be that hard. You have no idea what it's like, Tina. You meet the same people every day. They're arrogant, rude, and disgusting. Oh, there's this one guy with the hairiest back you've ever seen. Ugh. Gross. Well... I see it as a win. You live right above work, pay half in rent, and you get to live in a nice place like this. I get what the big deal is. I don't get, presumably. The big deal is that I wish I had another job. Something different, you know? Maybe something like yours? <laughs> Please. I work for that old hag that owns the laundromat downtown. Another returning character, big sister. Yeah, 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 mirror, mirror, mirror. All day, the crazy bitch goes on. One day, I'd like to stick some fireworks up or... Tina, please. Well, you get the picture. i just like to run my own business for a change. Be the boss. Say, Ash? Hmm? Can we just eat on the couch? I really don't want to set the table. It's like the one job you have in all of this. Fine, but if you dare spill anything, pff, as if I ever have. I wish there was like a visible stain on the couch when she said that. That couch used to be white, you know? An even better payoff. I dyed it to cover up the stain from your nail polish. Okay, maybe I accidentally spilled a teeny bit. I thought she spilled so much that she changed the entire color. It's fine, Tina. Oh well. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, but dinner will be ready soon. I'll be quick, sis. If you guys are making, like, legit ramen and not the, the dried stuff that just comes in a package, if you have, like, fresh noodles that you're whipping up here, I'd eat that every single night. Incredible. Yo, Mr. Frank, can you throw me up a smoke? You don't even have your own, Tina. Useless. I'll give you some muffins after dinner. 
Thanks, senpai. Gosh, Tina, just buy your own. Boy, am I thirsty. Hey, Tina, you want a soda? What flavor? I think it's just cola? Sure. You can get on board with that. There's some very new UI elements compared to what we've normally seen in these games. It looks great. I feel like it's an improvement. I can't do anything with the sink. I need a knife to cut up the vegetables. Where did I put that knife? Wasn't the knife pretty important to one of the last games? Mm, smells so good. And I'm pretty sure you could never do anything with the sink. It's a running joke. What do you know? Just cola. At least it's cold. More like cold -uh. Can't do anything. What's in here? Nothing. I thought it was going to be a red bow. <laughs> Maybe that's too on the nose of a connection. Can't do anything. Not a... The toilet looks kind of brown in the middle, and that's really grossing me out. Huh? What's the knife doing here? Hmm. Must have been sleepwalking again. But this is becoming a little scary. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Wait, can I... How do we, like, retrieve the knife? Did, 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 did we get it? Bag. I have... I have both. Okay, great. Sis, I got your delicious drink. Oh, right, the sodas. Why, well, I, I have it here. I just gotta fish it out for ya. Hey, thanks, sis. Frank, just chilling down below with their big old glasses. Do you think anything will ever change? What do you mean, sis? Like, anything. What do you want in life? Well, I wanna see the world. With some sexy hunk. What about you? Traveling sounds nice, but I'd rather work my way up, you know? Get married, start my own business, be in charge for a change. <laughs> Find a nice supplicating husband who's, who's willing to just be bossed around. Oh, I'm sure you'll make it someday. There's loads of desperate guys with money out there. Gee, aren't you just a bunch of joy? I know, it's a curse. I'm saying you'll find that lucky guy one day. And you won't even expect it. Just be yourself. Uh, just be nice and you'll see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm a bit too stressed with everything. I just wish mom were still here. If she was, I'm sure she wouldn't want you moping around all day. Do you still have the pendant she gave you? Yeah, it's safely locked away. Good. Good. I had this dream about the stuff she gave us before she died. Just take good care of it, sis. I will. <laughs> Lucky you. You got her pendant. All I got was a lousy red bow. Oh! <laughs> well, you did get her looks, Tina. <laughs> and her height. Ah, oh, the bow, the long legs. I really need to, like draw out a map for all the connections between these games. I feel like as more and more installments are made, the complexity has reached a point that's hard to track. I feel like it would be beneficial for me and anyone else who's a fan. Shorty. I am not short. Tell it to the shoulders, because the face can't see ya. You're like an inch taller than me, you bozo. And it's all thanks to my sexy stilts. Have you ever seen a pair of legs like this? Yeah, sticking out of the trash can in high school. You're just jealous. <sighs> well, Frank, your secondhand smoke's been fantastic, but <laughs> I guess we're going to stay out and inhale a bit more. Remember what Mom said? If you wish to reach the top of the mountain, you buy the apartment at the top floor. <laughs> Start by standing up. You still remember that? It's just something to think about, Ash. If you really want something in life, then go get it. It's not that simple, Tina. Neither is laundry. You should see my fold creases. I could cut bread with my shirt collars. Hey. Thanks, Tina. That's what sisters are for, right? Right. I'll go check on dinner. It'll be ready soon. I can smell it already. I thought you hated ramen. Not your ramen, sis. You make it just like mom did. Oh, that's sweet. How nice of you two. 
How do you think you get to this back room? Oh, <laughs> it's as simple as that. There just wasn't like a, one of these carpets to indicate you could go over there. Apparently it doesn't matter. Now we just need to add the vegetables. App apparently chopping them is important. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, I didn't even need to select the knife. Oh, it's probably because it's the only thing I had in the bag. There. Mmm, smells amazing. If I do say so myself, terrible, terrible ramen form. You would add the vegetables first, wouldn't you, so that they can cook down and soften up a bit, and then the noodles only take like two minutes? Hey, Tina, another ten minutes. Oh, okay, maybe this is a to maybe it was broth first, then veggies, then noodles. I have no idea what they're doing here. Sure thing, sis. I hope this is as good as mom's. Well, Tina seems to think so. I'll take my coffee break while you guys enjoy your noodles. Do you think she's faking those thighs? Like padding? Like, why wear a skirt if you got no hips, you pelican? Weird insult. How's the ramen? Ah, it's so good. It's always so good. You should open your own restaurant. It's not that good. If you say that again, I will physically harm you. But for real. This is delicious. I feel like a couple of typos in the last few lines here. Does she eventually open a ramen shop? Is that a thing? There's totally a ramen shop character. Ugh, there's so much to think about. <laughs> what about seeing the world? I'm sure they have nicer food than mine. And I'm sure they do. But the world hasn't tried this. We'll show them. Take them by storm. Oh my god! That top makes her look like a dancing cactus. Maybe we should change the channel. Nah, it's fine. I have to head off soon anyways. You sure? It's only eight. I have to get up early for the old crone. She installed a punch card system this morning. I was only ever late once. Now the ghoul does this. Sounds like you've got a fun day tomorrow then. Yippee! Anyway, sis. I best be off. Thanks again for dinner. Man, how many hours a day are you working? You just got home. Oh, you don't live here with me? I kind of thought that we lived together. So you were talking about paying half of rent, but now I'm only seeing the one bed. See you, Tina. I guess it's going to be an early night tonight. Not getting up to any crazy partying. Oh. Hey there, little buddy. Maine, where are you? There we go. Oh, baby. Yeah, Maine, you fry those noodles. And don't forget the honey soy sauce. See, Maine, why can't she cook like this? This character seems familiar, but I don't recall. What the? Is that the TV? It's not Little Jacket. That's way more identifiable. Did we leave the ramen cooking? It, is anyone there? Huh? I feel like this character probably showed up in one of the mini stories of uh, Red Bow or something. Or maybe in that spirit restaurant we end up at in My Big Sister. Eek! Ah! Hey, Maine! Uh, don't you know it's rude to sneak up on someone? Is that kind of the way that certain people in certain parts of the world, instead of saying man, kind of just say, like, Maine? I, I can't think of what accent that is. How did you get into my apartment? Wait, are you homeless? Maine? Homeless? Wait, you're not a kid? Nah, Maine? Do I look like a kid to you? Well, yes. You're very short. It's probably the lighting, Maine. Everyone looks short in the dark. So, what are you? A dude that's missing out on his late night specials. The cooking channel? Wait, what's that smell? I don't smell nothing, Maine. Are you cooking my food? Well, I ain't cooking nothing, Maine. What? Well, yeah, you very clearly are, and you're doing a terrible job of it. Jesus, it's a good thing we woke up. Fire! Quick, save the stew, Maine! <laughs> oh, so now there is something cooking, is there? You admit it. Save the stew? It was burnt down. Also, it's ramen, not stew. They're very, very different. Is the stew okay, Maine? <sighs> the stew is gone. 
Now, would you mind telling me? What are you doing in my apartment? I fell asleep boiling pierogies one time and it boiled the pot dry and they just turned to black charcoal and I'm so lucky it didn't start a fire. Like, I was nearby, like, if it started a fire, presumably I would wake up and be able to do something about it, but think about that a lot. Very close to a disaster, many years ago. I was hungry, man. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you were homeless. What are you talking about, man? I'm a yokai, not some hobo. Hmm? A yokai? Pretty sure that it means, like, spirit or something, right? Like, yokai watch? I've never really played that those games or watch the series or anything i just don't know much about it a yokai a spirit a ghost please tell me i'm dreaming you're dreaming main mm. he is the one who moved the knife around it's a stupidly a stupid spirit who doesn't know where knives go it's just a figure of speech i don't mean to break up the q a main but can we have some stew now not until you tell me why you're here Ah, oh, come on, Maine! Answer me! Wait, what's that in your hand? What, this? No, this is nothing, Maine. Is that my mother's pendant? Nah, Maine, I got it off some homeless guy. That's my mother's pendant. <laughs> Just gonna jump out the ledge there? Later, Maine! Oh, legit, that is what he did. That was... I didn't expect that to be a real escape route. Wait, get back here. I can't let him get away. Well, I, I like we, we don't really have any real means here chasing him. It's, it's air conditioner is not going to be the way about it. I think we just got to hoof it on downstairs. When I opened the door, I saw nothing. Just darkness. But I did hear something. It sounds like... Crickets? Oh, transported to a new area. The prologue is flipping through the channels. Cute little guy. Wait, where am I? Oh. This is totally the bus stop from my big sister, which I think means that this yokai is from the spirit cafe that we go to in my big sister. What is this place? Huh? I think I am officially on board with backing this game. I'm very intrigued now in seeing it come to fruition and kind of filling in some of the gaps of this larger series. Uh... Hello? All aboard! Uh, I... 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 What are you? Come on, are you getting on or not? Uh, well, I was was following this sh short thing in the next... Listen, lady, I don't got all day to hear your troubles. I got plenty of my own, you know? Why, why are all these guys, like, I don't know, from, these spirits from Boston or something? Like being late? So are you getting on or not? I, I, I guess so? Good. Now move that tush of yours. I'm on a schedule. Oh, by the way... Uh, have you seen a little guy who was wearing a rice hat and uh, a kimono? <laughs> you mean Tanto. The guy owes me money. I mean, are we going to owe you money too? I, fe I feel like we don't have any means of paying. Hopefully it doesn't cost a soul. Lucky for you, the next stop is at his favorite dive. But enough gas bagging. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how to do accents. <laughs> I'm just basing it off of the way it was <laughs> written out there. Where am I? A few minutes ago, I was still in my apartment. Is this a dream? Or a nightmare? Alright, little mama. <laughs> Here's you go. Shiruta. See you around. I mean, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the lift. This is not familiar. I feel like in order to go to the cafe I'm thinking of, we would just go up into the forest there. Sh Shiruta? What the fuck? What could it possibly be? What do we got going on over here? I'm trying to see if any of this is familiar. I don't think so. Aw, oh, man. Sushi boys. Time to get me a bento. 
<laughs> He's just always hungry. I like the looks of that little guy in the right there. I'm for sure running straight over to him. There you are, you little thief. I wish I could read those, like, what that said. Oh, I don't get to explore the town at all. That's too bad. Maybe that'll be a, a full game option. Slow down. I'll have nothing left to serve my customers. Oh, come on, Kanu. I'm your only customer, Maine. That's because you eat all my food. And stop calling me Maine. Oh, sorry, Maine. Mm. <sighs> there you are. Friend of yours, Tanto? Huh? Just full swivel around there. Hey, what are you doing here, Maine? Can't you see that I'm eating? Can we back my mom's pendant? No. Just a hard no. Simple as that, huh? Come on. Hey, I was talking to you. Can't talk. Eating. Maine. <laughs> the lady's talking to you, garbage guts. Unless she's talking about food, I ain't interested, Maine. Tanto, do you remember the last time you pissed me off? But I really like this hat, Maine. Then be polite and talk to the nice lady. Fine. Can I help you, Maine? Just get, just give me back my mom's pendant. And I would like an apology. For what, Maine? For breaking into my apartment, cooking my food, and stealing my mom's damn pendant. I ain't apologizing for that last one, Maine. How was I supposed to know it was your mom's? Besides, I don't have it anymore. You've lost it? I mean, just because you don't know who owns a thing or originally owned a thing doesn't mean you can just steal it. Can't I help you, sweetie? I'm Ken. I own this sushi restaurant. I know this bonehead is a bit hard to talk to. Look, giant talking raccoon. I think it's supposed to be a raccoon. With a uh, big chest. <coughs> I just want my mom's pendant back. It means a lot to me. Is that so? Tanto, give the nice lady back her pendant. I can't, Maine. Muma has it. And why does Muma have it? Let me guess. I bet you lost some stupid bet to her again. And now, nah, Maine, she took it from me after I got here. Then she went for a nap. A nap? Great. Why? What's wrong? Oh, it's more of like a great rather than like a ha-ha. <laughs> When Muma naps, she doesn't wake for a thousand years. <laughs> ah, rotten luck, missed her by a few minutes. A thousand years? So I have to wait a thousand years to get my mom's pendant back? That's the least of your problems, Maine. What are you talking about, you delinquent? The portal back to your world closes in three days. Better get a move on, Maine. I'm not leaving without my pendant. I'm sure it means a lot to you. But you can't stay here, sweetie. But I can't leave without it. Please, help me get it back. Man, Tina's gonna be so stressed not knowing where we are this whole time. Tanto! What, Maine? I'm starting to get pissed. Help her get her pendant back. Well, it's goodbye to free lunches. You're not charging this scrub? This mooch? You can't be serious, Maine. Now! Even if I wanted to help you out, Maine, we'd have to wake up Muma. And we can't without my baby. She won't even open her doors, Maine. Your baby? Oh no, please, Tanto. Not that. It's the only way to wake Muma up. Trust me, Maine. And everything else that lives in the spirit world. <sighs> and I was so happy I broke the darn thing, too. Wait. You broke a baby? Baby isn't a person. It's his boombox. A boombox? What are you spirits doing out here? What is going on? <laughs> Please don't ask why he calls it that. Find a way to fix my baby mane, then we'll go wake Muma. But until then, just going back to Munchin. <laughs> of course, well, can I have a quick snack? Seems like someone left a bento box just chilling over there. Hey, uh, Tonto? Don't bother talking to him. He can't talk while he's stuffing his face. Is there something I can help you with, sweetie? Where am I? Where am I is a good one, actually. What is this place? This is Shiruta. First stop in the spirit world. 
I'm in the spirit world? Yeah, you sure are. I'm just not sure how a human managed to get in. <laughs> what about Tonto? What's his deal? Is it that obvious, eh? Oh, no, no, no. I, I didn't mean... Yes, we were a couple, but this sorry excuse for his spirit here. I, I actually meant... <laughs> it's funny that you keep him around. You really must just pity this guy. No wonder it didn't last as a relationship. He decides he wants to try other spirits' foods. He leaves me to run the shop on my own. I only left because you said you were closing down, Maine. Is this supposed to kind of maybe mimic Ash and, and Tina separating from one another? That's because you ate all my stock. Why is he so hungry all the time? I have no idea. He never tells me. Just a hell of a metabolism. How come you're called the Sushi Boys when it's run by a woman? The genius here said it would bring in more customers if I changed it. And I stick by my decision, Maine. Brings me in every time. That's because you're the only customer I have. I want to know what the original name was. Well, where should I start? Looking for the boombox, obviously. <laughs> well, once I broke the damn thing, I tossed it over the balcony just outside. Last thing I heard was a splash and the pig here cry. A splash? Maybe it landed in water. <laughs> Bust out your magnifying glass here, guys. Put on a little hunting cap. Sherlock here is on the case. <laughs> that's, that's all the info I need for now. If you need anything else, I'll be right here. Sweetie. What am I going to do? <sighs> this is going to be a long night. So I, I'll, I'll probably poke around just a little bit more, get a get a feel for what's going on in this little city, this little hub world. And then, you know, I'll, I'll probably cover it in, in multiple parts. I was going to do one long, like, 40, 50 minute video, but I think it might take at least an hour. So I'll, I'll probably split her up at least a, a wee little bit. Hello, duck creature with Krusty the Clown hair. Capo, C can I help you? What are you? It's very rude way to introduce yourself. Well, I am a creature of the water. So you're a giant talking turtle? Great. I must be insane. Why? You don't look crazy to me. Well, thank you. The talking man turtle thinks I'm not crazy. That's right. And Tonto? Do you know anything about him? Yes. Well, who is he? Oh, oh. He's a guy. Thanks for your help. It's, it's truly useless. I'm looking for a boombox. Have you seen one around here? A boombox? What's that? I guess it's a kind of like a metal baby that makes a lot of noise. Just like a baby. It's a baby. It's basically a baby. It makes sense. It's a long radio? A long? Oh. I may know why you mean... <laughs> I guess that's just a typo. I found this in the water outside. Is this what you're after? Yes. How did someone so useless suddenly have exactly what I needed? It's broken just as we knew it would be. I think I know who can fix it. You do? Yeah, Gus. Gus, huh? Where can I find him? I'm afraid he may not be home. Do you know where I can find him? You should try the ramen shop. He loves the stuff. Okay, thanks for the help. Don't mention it. Well, in no way, shape, or form did I expect this useless duck person to be able to help me at all. And it turns out it was absolutely exactly what I needed. I mean, it got thrown off this balcony here, so it probably fell specifically in the water that's around his house. Just, I guess that makes sense but I never would have expected it based on how useless he had been. Ah, oh, we've seen that character before, because it's really familiar to have this, like, Mario-like character with the red and the blue overalls and, like, a mustache and everything. They look familiar, I just don't remember specifics. We'll check out that when I come back next time. This is a very expansive prologue, and just generally top to bottom in terms of art and, and writing and just the feel of things. Stranga has improved so much with each individual game. It's actually really amazing to see. It kind of makes Just Ignore Them look quite weak in comparison. And even my big sister is starting to age a little bit.
this is like the peak now. I'm, it's, I'm very excited to see where it goes from here. What's, what's your deal? Gus, this is Gus. <laughs> Hello, little one. What can I do for you? I ain't little mister. Ah, compared to me, you are. <laughs> and who exactly are you? The name's Gus. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. It's a question mark. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. Ash. My name's Ash. Oh, he just he just was waiting for us to fill in our name. That's much less, much less insulting. <laughs> well, Miss Ash, what would you like to know? What do you do? It doesn't seem really li lively in this place. Haha, <laughs> good one. Spirit jokes. I'm the conductor of the Yamaka. Oh my god. He's the guy who runs the train. And I don't even remember what game that was from anymore. The way these are tying together is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Was that Redbow? I can't even remember. What's a Yamaka? A pain in the ass is what it is. It's a transport that takes you from Shurita to Kozan. Kozan? Ah, Kozan. What a wonderful city. Filled with unfortunates that died from living a bland life. Sounds depressing. Yeah, I have no other way of summing that up either. <laughs> Quite the opposite. It's filled with lights and music, tasteful to the eyes and ears, and food stores as far as the eye can see. I know someone who would love that. Toon to? <laughs> Why am I forgetting his name? Ramen any good? Uh, it's pretty tasty, but I know a place in Chikata that has much tastier ramen. We gotta find out what the bar is, how who we're trying to compete with here. Are you good at fixing things? Repairing? That was a terrible spelling. <laughs> well, I say I'm no expert, but I can get the job done. Well, then I would like you to do it, please. Farewell until right this second. Tanto. I, I wanted to say Tanto, but I was thinking of like the, the Lone Ranger. And I was like, I know it's not that, but it kind of is. It needs batteries, speakers, and a mixtape. Do you think you can fix this, though, while I go find those other things? It seems in pretty bad shape. But so long as you have all the parts and maybe some booze. <laughs> to fix this, I'll need new speakers, batteries, and booze. Helps me concentrate. I feel like he was like an alcoholic in the other game. Like, we probably shouldn't be encouraging that or, or leaning into it at all. But perhaps, perhaps we're creating the problem here now. It hasn't been a thing yet. Hey, there's something in the tray. A can of cola. Neat. Total freebie. I already have one. There was more? This thing's just constantly dishing out? Hello, little spirit. Roku. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? What happened to your head? Oh god, yeah, right. Oh shit. That's not good. Uh, what's wrong with it? Do I have something on my face? No, your face is fine. Your neck, on the other hand, is missing. Oh, you mean... Wait. You're a human. Of course I am. What the heck are you? Well, I'm a spirit, I guess. A what? A, a spirit. Yokai, a ghost, everyone likes to list them off in the three like that. Surely one of those will make sense to you. One of those three. And who are you? I'm Roku. What are you doing in my house asking these very personal questions? I'm the daughter of the great swordsmith, Sujin. Ugh, I hope he didn't cut your head off with one of his swords. I moved to Shiruta to meet new souls. New souls? <laughs> Maybe they don't have Tinder in the spirit world, you gotta meet in person? Oh yes, I love meeting new souls. I also offer them free accommodation. Although, Muma doesn't like me doing it for free. But, I just love to help those in need, you know? The daughter of a swordsmith. Yes, that's correct. Is that how well... You mean how I lost my head? Yeah. It was a mistake. When I was a little girl, my father always told me to never enter his workshop while he was working. One day I was so excited to show him a butterfly I had just caught. He was testing the sword and I snuck up behind him to surprise. It wasn't his fault. I should have been more careful. Your dad's, like, 
instincts and reaction there is pretty strong, especially the fact that he presumably had to like cut downwards, like aim lower at a child's head. Oh my. Oh, but we're together again at last. My father's here in the spirit world. Although, he said he can never look at me again because of his shame. Wow, that's brutal. I think if you're willing to look past it, maybe he should too. You guys can make up for lost time. I just wish we could talk again. But anyway, is there something else you would like to ask? What's with all the little guys in green hats? Yeah, I do want to know about them. They don't really seem to be very talkative. Those are the Chomen. They're the spirits of children who have passed on to this place. Oh, that's really sad all of a sudden. Poor little things. Be cautious, though. Some of them are little tricksters. Boombox. <laughs> I'm looking for parts. Tonto. <laughs> what a charming little fella. Opposite. Don't agree with that at all. Always helps out with the Chomen when he can. Help? Oh, yes. Seems to me like he would only help himself. Hmm, so his boom box is broken. His, his boom? I mean, his radio is broken. Maybe you should try asking some of the Chomen. I'm sure one of them has what you're looking for. Well, none of them are really willing to, to talk to me at all whenever, whenever I've tried. Excuse me while I just quickly wander around your apartment that I invaded and just kind of broke into here. Hey, get out of the way. Oh, sorry. I mean, is Ta Tonto also a showman? He might have some sort of like haunted past of, I don't know, starving to death or something. And and like him also being a showman would explain why he's so dedicated to helping them. A truck. There's some crumbs here. They seem like honey. It's very particular. <laughs> is that tied to like the honey soy sauce someone mentioned earlier? <laughs> I just looked over and the cat just opened the door and forced their way into the room here. Very clever. I wonder if you can hear her meowing away now. Just looking for attention as always. Say hello to Misty. She is not a spirit. She's just a whiny cat who just needs attention all the time. Anybody home? I guess not. Guess we're free to just root around and do what we please tricks hey huh Ooh, okay <laughs> don't you know how to knock oh i'm, I'm so uh, it's rude you know it seemed like it really that's what flies here in the spirit world no one seemed to, to care that much the cat's trying to sneak out i'm sorry oh you're a human i've never never met a human before why not i've only heard stories about them say would you help me with something Sure, I guess I can. Great, someone is stealing my buns. Uh, your buns? Yes, they're delicious. My sweet honey butter buns. Ah, those kind of buns. Yeah, silly. Shh, follow me. It's kind of, kind of weird. <laughs> Look out the window. Are they getting stolen right out of your truck? Maybe don't leave them outside unattended in the truck there. Maybe in those boxes? Oh, a little tanuki, I think is what that would be. Mmm, is that what? I'm already forgetting her name. Kuma? <laughs> Kano? <laughs> who, who owns the, the ramen boys? Is that maybe some relation? Who is that? That's the thief. He's stealing my buns. I've tried to capture him before with a trap, but no luck. A trap? Poison buns. But he just won't jump in the back of the truck. He's so devious. Maybe you could just follow him? Ah, he's too fast for my tiny little legs. Well, I just saw you jump out from that like upper floor or whatever there. Presumably you're quite nimble yourself. He lives somewhere in the back end of town. So will you help me catch the little button thief? Uh, okay. Yes, thank you, human. So that's my main thing that I'm here for. I'm here to help everyone I can. I'll wait here until you've caught the thief. That's like a pretty common like narrative thread of these games is just going around and, and helping out the spirits. It feels good. We're just doing doing good for everyone. And then we just kind of let ourselves into their homes and snoop around. Ah, 
thought there'd be something important, like, I don't know, batteries or something tucked away up there that we could scoop up for ourselves. Did the Chomen, same ones who wouldn't talk before, continue to, to be shut off, it would seem. <laughs> There's a lot more of this area to explore than I originally thought, actually. But I don't have access to, to every corner of it. Oh, hi. Tracked you down really easily. Hey, Oki. <laughs> hey, how did you get up in here? May have added some words. You left the door unlocked. Oh, terrible thief. So, what do you want? I saw you steal Trix's buns. What? You think I still- I saw you. We were watching you through the window. Well, they're delicious, okay? That's no reason to steal them. Why didn't you ask for one? Because I'm hungry. We do stupid things when we're hungry. Yeah, taunt him all the time, everything he does. Tell her I'm sorry, but they smell so good. I'm sure if you ask Trix, she'll be happy to give you some. Well, okay, I'll do that. Here, you can have this bun. Seems like almost a bribe at that point. You're like paying buns to not have buns stolen. <laughs> like, I don't know if she would just give out her hard worked source of income to just anyone. Just tell her that I'm sorry. Well, that was a very quick, simple resolution to that, wasn't it? <laughs> Presumably, I'll give her the bun, and then she can hook me up with some piece I'm missing from the, the speakers. Or the, uh, the boombox in general? I know this isn't the right house. I just wanted to see if I could access that one. So I got a few other stops I can make. We had a Choman picking, just peeking out that top window there. Even though I think that's a part of this house. And we didn't really see anything else upstairs. Is there something you need? Oh, yes, right. Um, I, I guess we can talk a little bit. Why did they call you Tricks? That's just a nickname. My real name is Damasu. So what's with the nickname? Eh, it's just what the other Chomen call me. The little scampers. <laughs> Who keeps stealing your buns when well, we kind of figured that out? They must really like them. Well, I'm sure they're tasty. Damn straight. Best in the spirit world. I'll have to try some someday. Well, yes. But actually, no. We need to catch the bun thief first. Otherwise, no one will have any buns. Great. All I can think about now is people's butts. <laughs> you look different than the other showmen. I'm sick of looking like them. How can you tell us apart? Besides, I wanted some style to brighten up this sad town. So, do you all look the same? What? We don't look the same. Can't you see my pretty golden hair? Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. That's very specifically what I was asking is how or why you look distinct. It's okay, human. You're new here. All is forgiven. Thanks. Gee, I wish it was that simple back home. I guess once you're dead, you kind of learn to not really hold on to, to things anymore. <laughs> the boombox? I'm trying to fix it. Do you have anything to help with that? I don't think I have anything of use to you. But I do know that the Choman next door like to pull stuff apart. Maybe he has something useful? Oh yeah, that gives me something to go off of. Hopefully... I... Is that the one I've already talked to? I'm not sure. A hint of honey and butter. Hey, there's my honey buns. Um, I I, I caught the thief there. I was, I was like, are we not going to follow up on this? You did. Did you give him a piece of your mind? Well, no, I, I don't think he's a bad guy. Just a hungry one. I understand. My mom taught me how to make them extra delicious. My mom taught me how to cook too. Hey, you could teach me some new recipes. As much as I'd love to, I have to find a way back home. But maybe someday we can open a bun and ramen shop together. So you're not staying? I can't. I have my own place, uh, a job, bills to pay. Well, I hope you find a way back. Don't you wish you could go back? I think I'm happier here. Don't have to worry about a job or bills. It seems like you just kind of make the buns as like a hobby just to bring some joy to other people. 
I assume you have like free rent and everything. I have no idea how it works. I mean, it would be nice to see my mom again, but I'll eventually see her again, so that makes me happy. Oh, I'd be so curious if there's a character in the other games who lost their daughter and has a story with honey buns. I'd have to keep an eye out for that. Besides, I can't wait to show her how much better I am at baking now. Ah, before I forget, take this. I found it while I was searching for the thief. It's a cassette tape. Tanto's Beats. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, human. Nice. Oh wait, when they said next door, I originally thought this, but it might mean the people who are who are north of us here. Yeah, it's not going to be them. We've already talked to them. <laughs> I mean, I guess in a sense, the headless lady is a fan of pulling things apart. It's just not in the way that you would expect. It's kind of a... Uh, a little bit worse than that. Oh, there's like a chest in the corner that I can't interact with. Even though the fact that it's like outlined in black, kind of highlighting it, making it seem like it's significant. Nothing. This is about the last place I can head. Not, not even there. Up here is the last place. Maybe I can talk to the fisherman? No. The bathhouse. Oh, I can't do anything with it. Yeah, that seems like it's building up for the, the larger story. It would make sense that that would be saved for the, the full game. That's pretty heavy, actually, that that's there. Ooh, didn't see before that you can climb up here. Hoji's tattoos. Wow, okay, lots of arms. What the hell is that thing? You gotta learn to tamp down, tamp down those reactions. Why, that's my client! <laughs> oh, a human. Hello, human. I must be dreaming. Well, I hope it's about me. <laughs> you. How'd you end up here, Missy? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me guess. You want one of my famous tats? Well, darling, you have to come back later. Still ink in this garbage bag. I don't know how young or old I'm supposed to be either. I feel like that would play a part. Old enough to be on our own, I guess? Even if we're young for that? That's right. I know you heard me in that coma of yours. You may not feel the pain of my needle, but my insults go straight through your soul. <laughs> just, you put them in a coma to t tattoo them? Oh, don't worry about him, darling. I lost my legs to him in a card game. <laughs> but I got the sweeter end of the deal. There's a lot more you can do with extra hands. <laughs> I'm I'm sure you can. Oh, that's true. You could really train those hands to like walk around on them and stuff. If you have four legs, you're not really going to replace hands. <laughs> but where are my manners? Name's Hoji. And what might yours be, human? My name is Ash. Well, Ash, it's always a pleasure to meet a, a human. I accidentally skipped the last word. Can I ask you something? I'm looking for someone. Of course. He's a little guy with a rice hat named Tonto. For some reason the game would think that I would come here first. It made a lot more sense to go to the sushi boys. <laughs> Tonto. Now that's a name that gets around. Little dude loves to eat. Do you know where I can find him? <laughs> you don't find him. He finds you. If you have something to eat, that is. <laughs> well, thanks for the help. Anytime, little missy. I mean, we already found him. We know where he is. Now I just kind of want some of your things. A bottle of wine? Hey, Hoji. Do you mind if I take something from the medical box? Knock yourself out, darling. This dude's not going to need it. <laughs> Thanks. Is that just reflecting Hoji's confidence in himself? Or that since this guy's knocked out into a coma, that he's just like, ah, whatever. He, <laughs> he's not going to feel it anyways. We can just push him as, as much as we need to. Bottle of wine, has a strong smell, Tonto's mixtape, you better have some good music in here. We still need batteries and speakers. So we're, we, we got a, a few things left. Well, what can I do for you? What is this place? Well, you're in my tattoo parlor. I mean, what is this place? It's not like home. Why, you're in Sharuda. My advice to a newbie like yourself, don't drink the water. <laughs> Ew, what's wrong with it? What are you? Well, isn't it obvious? A tattoo artist. 
Whoever said I was an artist? <laughs> this guy is quite literal with things, though. I don't think people are supposed to have forearms. Hmm, lucky for you, I ain't people. Really doesn't answer the question then, does it? Who's that guy? Ah, he's a lifeless lump that decided to pass out on me. At least his wallet's full. He passed out and you just started tattooing him, or he passed out while getting tattooed? What's Tonto like? <laughs> what a mischief maker. Most of the fa folk around here hate him. But I kind of adore the little guy. He's a card, I'll tell ya. He didn't seem that funny to me. Why? What'd he do to you? He almost burnt down my apartment. <laughs> Classic. Ah, oh, man, that dude is crazy. Do you know where I can find him? He loves to eat, find him with food. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Hey, OG, do you know where I can find a boombox? Hmm, Mooma's not gonna be too happy. Let me guess, Tonto's got a new mixtape? I have no idea. Uh, we just need it to see Mooma, whoever that is. Hmm, well, I don't have a boombox, <laughs> but I do have some batteries that could power one. I guess that's better than nothing. Here you go. Thanks, Hoji. Anytime, pretty lady. That guy's the most useful character in the whole game. He's just hooking us up with everything. Fresh batteries. The speakers are the main thing we don't have anymore. Gus, can you help me out with that, maybe? Uh, ramen any good? Nah, no, it doesn't seem like he has any of, any of that. There must be like a house I haven't gone to yet. Oh, Trix, I, I, I met a showman named Trix. She seems a little different from the others. <laughs> Funny little one, isn't she? So, she's a girl. Oh my, yes. So, why do all the others look the same? We take the form of a portrayal of our death. Some change into strange and mysterious creatures. That's been a running theme through all this, and it makes sense when a character is, like, decapitated or things like that, but I've always wondered, some of them just seem quite generic. But children are quite interesting. It seems that most children only take this form. And they're so cute. They are, but isn't it a bit disturbing knowing that they're Adorable. Not at all. Most of them don't know they have died. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. You're new here. As for Trix, she just wants to stand out from the crowd. Be your former self. Kids will be kids. Hmm. Well, okay, fair enough. I'm still looking for parts. What a charming fella. Always helps out the Choman. He helps. It's surprising. Well, I don't think you're going to have any speakers here. It's fun to follow up about the, the Choman, though, I suppose. Oh, stairs. Here's someone to talk to. <laughs> you're a lady. <laughs> my, my, my. You're so observant. A human lady. What are you doing up here? Well, it's kind of fun being on your own. Why? None of the other Choman want to play with me. I mean, being alone is underrated. Maybe not all the time, but for like a, a couple days, maybe even a week. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. So, I just hang out here. Ah, oh, you poor thing. Why don't the others want to play with you? I don't know. Maybe because I'm different? I'm not a, really an authority on this, but you look pretty much the same as the rest to me. <laughs> Even if the others don't think so. Really? Absolutely. So long as you're happy being you, that's all that matters. Gee, thanks, lady. Now I can go burn the showman that called me stupid. Ah, uh, that's not what I... I already pulled the speakers out of the TV. <laughs> Enjoy your subtitles. <laughs> Well, I'd love those speakers if you can hook me up. Have you seen a, I mean, a radio around here? I've seen pieces of a radio? Whoever threw it down here sounded pretty angry. Do you know where it went? I had no idea, but I have these speakers. Pulled them out of the TV downstairs. That explains that. Can I have those? Well, I'm kind of hungry. I'll trade them for something to eat. Okay, what do you have in mind? Hopefully a cola? Hmm, I feel like sushi. Great. Let's hope there's some left. Oh, can't raid. Can't raid the chest. Tonto! Oh, do you know what? There's... I, I, I can totally scoop up the one that's on that table by itself. That's my guess. 
at least. It would just kind of make sense. Ugh, I guess not. Maybe that's not the full real deal. Don't bother talking to him, he's stuffing his face. Sushi, please? How much is your sushi, Kanu? Are you hungry, sweetie? I'm feeling a little peckish. Here you are. Enjoy. Thanks. I'm, I'm sure we could have told her more specifically what it was for, and she still would have given it to us. I, I, I don't know why you needed to, to say it was for yourself. Delicious, delicious sushi. <laughs> Especially when, like, you know, she seemed pretty on board with helping us reassemble the boombox and everything. But that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> We still manage to get what we need out of it, so it works for me. Here you are, enjoy! <sighs> Thanks, lady. Usually I'd have to pay for this. Do you think you could also get speakers? Now. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm actually really used to games like this being like, ah, oh, one more thing, one more thing. It's funny to just be like, nah, 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 nah. We're not changing the deal here. I'm gonna need something to put this thing to I need someone, someone to put this thing together. Luckily we already got Gus. <laughs> I just, I feel like this game feels a little more well-rounded and, and fleshed out as a as a whole. What part do I need to, to hand you? Do you I, I guess I should probably pull out the, the boom box itself. Do you think you can fix this? Bad shape, as long as you have all the parts. Maybe some booze. Sure do. Splendid. Let's see what I can do. Do, 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 do. There you go. <laughs> One fixed boom box. Thank you. Well, that that came together quite smoothly. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to rock here. Taken care of. Hmm. I guess do I just need to take it to the the bathhouse myself? Mixtape. What if I open and use the actual boom box? No? What if I use the boombox on you guys? Okay, Tonto. I have everything. Can we please go now? Okay, main. <laughs> Let's go wake Mooma up. <sighs> Just gonna run away, leave me behind? Come on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he didn't totally abandon me. Just mostly. Just where I thought we'd be going. Alright, main. Here we go. I got cat fur blowing up in my face. <laughs> She was here like 20, 30 minutes ago. Why is it still floating around? Okay, Mooma. Now I'm gonna wake up, Mane. Just rocking it on the shoulder there, <laughs> holding it above the head. <laughs> this other Chobin who's just kind of like on his randomized like walk cycle just comes cruising by, goes to the bathhouse himself. <laughs> he kind of got stuck in the door there. You can still see part of him. What the heck is all that noise? Quick, Mane. Now's your chance. What? You want me to go in there alone? Just go, Maine. We just gotta hustle up in there, getting locked away. That's for sure the end of the prologue, because now we're gonna meet Ashina? Or is Ash Ash Ashina? There's a lot of intertangling things about that in the other games, and now I don't recall. <laughs> I may need to replay them all before this full game comes out, or I'll replay it after. If you want to see more now you can you can back pack the kickstarter uh an early peek at the the first chapter i think i'm just gonna leave it at the prologue because i'd rather wait for the full game i don't want like a 10 minute episode of a fraction of the first chapter or whatever so we'll just set it aside till the full thing kickstarter actively running right now for the next couple weeks plenty of time if you're seeing this you know <laughs> relatively soon after it came out i'll have a link down below you guys can go back it the goal that they're aiming for is pretty attainable I, I think we can i think we can push it through to a fully funded game i'm very excited by how polished this seems and, and finally seeing all these stories tie together thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon